Hi, I'm Joshua Farnsworth, and welcome to the section on, on the buying guide for sharpening for traditional woodworking hand tools. So one of the most important parts of woodworking is having sharp tools, uh, tools that cut really easily and precisely. Uh, if you're looking for tutorials on sharpening or how to refurbish hand planes and saws and other tools, check out my other section in the 10 steps to getting started in traditional hand tool woodworking. But in this section we're going to be talking about actually buying, what you need to buy, uh, what not to buy, <laughs> and where to buy it. Uh, and I'll, I'll sh on, the, on the web page that accompanies this video, I share links to different websites where you can buy these products and for the best deals, and also uh, I share more tips of things that I may have forgotten in the video. Uh, and so just to get started, let's talk about uh, sharpening tools for hand planes. Um, what you need and what you don't need. So the basics of sharpening hand planes and chisels uh, and other blades that are similar to that uh, is it's uh, kind of the basic is to hollow grind is what I prefer. So I get a, a grinder. I'll share links to some highly reviewed grinders at woodandshop.com. Uh, and some things that go along with the grinders to look for is a nice rest, like the Veritas tool rest. One thing I wouldn't recommend is their <laughs> accessory here. It's a little jig that you slide back and forth. Uh, it doesn't work. I've tried it, and I've tried it in multiple spot, mul multiple configurations, and I've just found that it's easier to hollow grind by hand. So you can check out my video that, that shows how I hollow grind by hand, and it's super easy and a proven way to put an edge on your on your chisels and your irons or your blades. Uh, one thing I forgot is this is good to have a diamond dressing wheel for your for your grinder. If I didn't mention that. I found that a lot of people really like these um, these these uh, honing guides to direct the to give them the appropriate angle. I I've tried it for so long and I actually don't prefer using one there. But if you want to try it, uh, go ahead and, <laughs> and spend money. I'll share some links on my website. But I actually prefer doing it by hand, uh, and I'll, it, it's actually much easier and faster. So. Let's talk about uh, sharpening stones or honing stones. Uh, don't fall for the the deals that you get on these honing stones because I, they're supposed to have a, a, a more coarse stone on this side and a softer, less coarse one on this one uh, for for moving up in your sharpening grits. Uh, but I found that I when I got partial part of the way through here that there's actually. <laughs> It's actually not this all the way, this fine stone all the way through, so it's a ripoff. So just uh, forget buying that, and forget buying all these accessories that go with it, and forget buying the cheap diamond stones that you use for for sharpening, uh, for flattening your stones. Uh, let's talk about what I really like, and I, it's taken me a couple years to figure this out. So I really, really prefer, like a lot of serious woodworkers, sharpening uh, with water stones. Uh, you can use oil stones. I know some people who really like the, to use the oil stones, but I prefer the water stones. They cut really nicely, and uh, I'll share the link to these. But these are Norton water stones. I like I, I personally like to have a 220 grit, a 1000 grit, a 4000 grit, and an 8000 grit. And you go through each of those. You can check out my sharpening video tutorials on how to go through that. Uh, as far as lapping those flat, for a long time I tried using sandpaper. Uh, you can put it on granite slabs or glass or, or even better, melamine. Uh, but what I, I found out that it just is a pain in the rear end to try and to get it to deal with all that sandpaper so, and, and all of the buildup on it. So I finally broke down and bought one of these <laughs> lapping plates. It's, it's a little pricey, but if you're getting serious into woodworking, the, these diamond lapping plates are well worth the time. Uh, so check that out. I'll, I'll share links on my website. Uh, so that, that uh, a, a good water bottle too for, for spraying down your water stones uh, after you've soaked them. And, and uh, So let's talk about really quickly card scrapers uh, or the cabinet sc scrapers. So I use, I, you can use your lapping plate. Uh, you know, I originally tried these. These, I guess, these diamond stones will use that to to flatten and give you 
give you a square edge, uh, but then you you probably need one of these burnishers. You can't you shouldn't use a screwdriver. A burnishing rod here is will put an edge on it. You can check out a tutorial that I have on that. So let's move on to hand saws. So uh, to start off, if you want to sharpen your own hand saws, it's really fun. Um, the first thing you'll need is a, a saw vise. You can get these on eBay. I'll share so, uh, some search links to eBay. I don't know if you can buy new ones, but you can also build them. I'll, I'll share a link to uh, some videos on building these saw vices, but this uh, holds your, your hand saw in place so that you can actually work on once you get it down in there so that you can isolate it and you can work on sharpening the teeth of your hand saws. So different hand saws have different teeth counts per inch and so that necessitates different little files, different sized files. I found the best uh, place to buy these is at Lee Nielsen. They, they're, uh, they're surprisingly hard to find around but they're pretty cheap at Lee Nielsen. They seem to carry different ones and I'll share a chart and they also share a chart of which size of these triangular files you need for for uh, the different size saws and you, your saws will usually have an imprint of uh, how many teeth per inch it is or you can measure it uh, and uh, also for before you begin actually uh, sharpening the teeth on your saw you usually want to use uh, you want to flatten the teeth uh, and it's best to do it at a 90 degree angle. So I use one of these uh, bastard mill files and uh, also Veritas makes a nice holder for this. It's like a, a, a joint, a file jointer, I, I think. I'll I can't remember what it's called, but I'll share a link to it. And finally, and there's probably more that I'm forgetting, but finally is uh, little saw sets. You can, you can uh, get a couple different sizes, but this one here, uh, I think I got at Lee Valley Veritas as well. Uh, so I will, there, there are some other ones. I know that uh, Stanley made some really good used ones. I'll share uh, on the webpage of the companies this video some, some uh, brands to look for, some models to look for if you want to find used ones at flea markets or on eBay. Uh, and I'll share links to some of the newer ones in, in case you want to just get a newer one like this, which might be a lot easier and less time consuming trying to find that. Uh, and in some cases, usually cheaper. So. Uh, check out woodandshop.com. Uh, check out this page to, to see the updated things that I may have missed or the products change over time. So I'll, I'll update products that I like, the brands that I like. Uh, so check out the, the website and uh, thanks for watching this video.